Hello, indie gaming fans. If you've been a fan of this channel for some time, you may remember last summer when I did a demo impressions video for Terrorbane. While it was expected to come out by the end of last year, there was a bit of a delay, but now we do finally have the full version out. As I mentioned before with the demo impressions video, at first the game seems to be your typical JRPG with your hero trying to fight a major villain, but the reality is that that's not the case at all. Instead, the game focuses on you playing this game, and there is a developer out there that's communicating with you as you find different glitches and bugs while playing. At first he gets annoyed with certain ways that you play, but then he realizes that it can come to be helpful as he can find different bugs before he releases the game. As for how the rest of the story goes, that depends on how you play the game and different decisions that you make along the way. There are definitely branching paths and in return you will have multiple endings that you can find. And just like how the story fakes you out and makes you think it's a JRPG, so does the gameplay. You do start off the game walking around a town talking to the NPCs and maybe even getting some weapons. You quickly realize it's about the glitches and it becomes almost a puzzle game to solve which glitch you need to use to be able to get to the next area. An example of this is there's a section in the game where there's a door that no longer has power to it and therefore can't be opened. To be able to solve it, you drag over a sprite of a power generator from a different part of the level even though it's not supposed to be able to do that. This is far from a one-off type instance as you will run into things like this constantly while playing Terrorbane. You have to quickly retrain your brain to not think of it like a regular game and learn the type of logic that this game actually runs by. Maybe you can actually just glitch your way through the sprites to be able to walk to the next area. Or maybe you can even hack into the code and change what the sprite is so instead of a wall it's a door. There's actually quite a bit of variety of what you can do and that really makes for why the game is so much fun to play. It's also quickly apparent that Terrorbane is a love letter to games of the 8 and 16 bit eras. It's constantly making references to games that you probably grew up playing if you're of a certain age. On top of these references, which I do find actually quite funny many times, there will also be changes in the gameplay to reference different ones, including even a trading card game. As you find more of the branches in the story, you will find more of the variety in the gameplay as well. As you uncover the game's different bugs and glitches, there is a list that you are checking off to make sure that you found everything. So there's even a nice little nifty warp zone area so you can go back to a previously played area and try to get what you've missed. Graphically speaking, you know what you're going to get while playing Terrorbane. As I've mentioned many times before, it is definitely inspired by 16-bit JRPGs. While there will be sections that the graphics will change based on what they're trying to reference, for the most part it sticks to that style, and the best part is that makes it easy to run no matter what your hardware is. And when I say no matter the hardware, I really mean it. When you look at the system requirements under the graphics card, all it says is NVIDIA or ATI Radeon card. It doesn't get really any more specific than that. Side note, I'm sure they meant AMD as they're no longer called ATI, but still the point remains. Basically, as long as you have a 3D accelerated video card and not using the built-in video, you'll be fine to play this game. If you're a fan of 16-bit sound effects and music in video games, then Terrorbane will also appeal to you greatly. One thing I really appreciated is that the music changed based on which area that you were in, and the battles would be different whether it was a regular battle or a boss. All the songs were very well done, it wasn't anything that got too repetitive and something I would actually enjoy listening to outside of the video game. Related to that, sometimes sound effects in games can become overly repetitive and annoying, and thankfully Terrorbane doesn't fall into that trap at all. Everything comes off as nice, crisp, and clear, including the fully voice-acted dialogue from the developer as he's communicating with you. I'm sure I speak for a lot of people when I say that I love indie gaming because of the way that they come up with unique experiences, and Terrorbane is no exception. They could have gotten away with just making another pixel art 16-bit JRPG, but instead they tried for something new and different. The idea of trying to find bugs just sounds unique and fun as it becomes these little puzzles to solve. When growing up, I actually would play the games that I owned so much that I would turn to trying to find bugs and glitches just to see if I could get a different experience or just to see what would happen. So it's kind of funny that now in my adulthood, I'm actually playing a game that encourages me to do so. 
It's a unique experience that's a ton of fun to play, and while it may not be for everyone, they do have a free introduction version that you can download right from Steam to see if it's for you. It's also not lost on me, and I can appreciate the fact that they are releasing it on April Fool's Day. know who I don't think are fools and who I'm not going to play any pranks on? Those would be our indie warriors. Bill T, Christian Cruz, Kevalo, Adriana Amato, CJR, PSC, Julian Colbus, Jesse, Ray Lynn, Marky Mint, Dave Harp, Peekaboo, Lex Noyle, Carmine Red, King of the Hatch, and Blue Francis 14. There are also our indie legends, Jen Rose, Larkison, Mitchell Hall, Eric, Peach, Skeptism, C. Coyle, Nathan Moore, and Chris Jackson. I want to thank each and every one of you for all that you do to support us here at I Dream of Indie. We truly couldn't do it without you. Anybody who would like to join them, all the information is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and until next time, enjoy gaming.